with Hazel Gargan Bell, who graciously and generously donated pieces of her artwork to The Good Shepherd, which Hazel's artwork will be auctioned during the summer barbecue of the 3rd Infantry Battalion here in St Stephen's Barracks, who are hosting the auction for The Good Shepherd. Hazel, thank you for inviting us to your studio. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> it's great. I've only just um, got my studio up and going in my own house, which is even better. And um, it's great. You're one of my first visitors. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So tell me, you know, you graciously and generously donated to the Good Shepherd uh, for their arts last year, rather, down in the uh, Mayor's Walk and the last couple of moments of the arts week. Yes. You, you, you yeah. just. So here, Roshan, I hear you're uh, collecting for the um, for the Good Shepherd, and then you went, you and Bettina went around everybody, and everybody was coming up to you with. It all was great. It was brilliant. Yeah. It, the the Mayor's Walk is like that. It's a real kind of family community down there, and you meet the same people every year, and you mightn't see each other for the year, and then it's it's like we're back home for the ten days, and. Um, another lady from Dublin had had donated, and she'd said it to Bettina, who's always exhibits across from me and Bettina says oh I'm giving the police into the good shepherd. She says, oh where are they and then we seen you so um on the way up I was like lads 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 we need a bit of help so um I kept dragging you around this person wants to give to you <laughs> so it was it was great a lot of people donated from the Mary's Walk and that's kind of what we do is kind of help each other out and you won't get um, a better cause than, than homelessness yes. so if you can give something um that you've made or created or whatever and somebody really likes it and hopefully will, will buy it on the day um, you're going to and I only had one piece to give you that day and I was a bit disgusted so I went home and I did another piece so I gave in to a pe lovely pair from my Poppies in the Mist series um, so uh, ho hopefully they'll sell now and they'll make you more than a fiver each <laughs> that would be good <laughs> Tell us, I, tell us about your art. Like you do amazing art, and I just love you use chalk. I I use chalk. It's a, it's a little bit messy, but I kind of like it. Um, I don't mind getting my hands dirty when it comes to crafting or anything. I've I've always kind of drawn over the years. Um, but it's only in the last. This will probably be my sixth year now. Um, I'll be going to the to the Mayor's Walk at the Arts Festival, and um. I, I started off basically was I uh, they needed school raffle prizes for the, our, my children's local school and I didn't know what to give in so I decided that I would um, uh, do a piece and it happened to be of Burn Church Castles which is right across from the school and I handed that in for the raffle and I did the same the following year and then two local people kindly asked me to do pictures for them and I didn't charge a lot for them but I was able to buy the materials so it it, it pays for itself which is really really nice and um, I love doing it. it it's a very relaxing hobby and pastime and um, it, it's a great passion and I think anything you do creatively um, gives you great peace of mind and makes you feel an awful lot better about yourself especially if anybody likes it it's a bonus um, I work with chalk pastels um, mainly with a little bit of acrylic and um, I tend to do very atmospheric landscapes um, or Again, I do a lot of flowers and I even do fairy fairy pictures as well. Um, and uh, it was funny because um, my mother found an old uh, sketchbook of mine and um, it was all flowers and landscapes and fairies <laughs> from when I was about 13 or 14. So I feel like I really come full circle with it. Um, I really enjoy doing it and I really enjoy the sense of peace and calmness that my pieces bring to other people when they're looking at it. So I'm hoping that um, my two pieces will sell for the Good Shepherd. I donate an awful lot to charity during the year and I think if you can give back at all, um, you should. Hey, so tell us about this beautiful uh, painting. Um, what is the inspiration behind this? I, I think it's a sense of calm that these pieces bring to me 
and seem to bring to other people. I love the splash of red and the vibrancy and the poppies and the poppies of course are remembrance and um, I just love the seed heads in it and um, that kind of little bit of a sky just you don't know whether it's going to rain you don't know whether the sun's about to come out and then the butterflies for me are of course new beginnings and new starts so I really I, I always like to throw a little butterfly in or two or three even <laughs> if I can get away with it but sometimes the piece will tell you that it doesn't need anything else and the, it, that has just come together perfectly so you know you don't know what you're going to see some little creature might come out of the grass you, ju you just don't know to me it's like you're waiting for the story to develop and you're waiting for a little fairy to appear or a little bird or to sing you can actually you can feel the music and you can feel you can hear the music you can feel the, the, the night sky and the energy. I'd like to hope that it, there is a little bit of a sense of movement in them. Um, but I think it's not just about drawing pretty pictures. I think it's about drawing something that will bring calmness if somebody looks at it. And that's something that they might be able to live with for a very long time. I think that's why most people buy whatever art they're into. Um, because it speaks to them in a certain way and makes them either smile or, or makes them feel something about it, whether, you know, and that will always tie in usually with what the artist will call a piece, you know. Um, I suppose I'm learning, I'm only self-taught, so I, you improve as you go, and um, I think it's to be honest about your work, so it is. Um, it's to be honest about what you do, and do it because you love it, really, you know, and that you hope it'll bring a little bit of joy to somebody else. Well, Hazel Gargan, I, Belle, I'm so sure that your paintings are going to be a huge success for the Good Shepherd auction on the 21st of June, which will be hosted by Lieutenant Colonel Mert Larkin in uh, St. Stephen's uh, Third Battalion Barracks. It's fantastic that they are given their their place for this. I mean, it's just it's an amazing location, so it is. And, uh, they're pretty good at throwing a shindig, so I'm sure between us trying to bring a little bit of culture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your guiding bell, thank you so much indeed. Thanks, Maria.